guys, so today I have a makeup tutorial. I'm gonna be using the new products from the MAC and Disney collection with Aladdin. And I'm so excited, I did get the blush, the highlight, well, the bronzer, the highlight, a lipstick, and also the eyeshadow palette. So I'm excited to show you that. I haven't gotten any MAC stuff from the actual MAC website this soon in the past just because mac wasn't sending me things it would just depend on where i was staying but they would not mail me things they would always cancel my order so if i had to get anything from mac it would have to be from ulta i put everything back in the box but just to keep it all together i did already use the bronzer and the highlight one time as well as the lipstick because i filmed this video yesterday but i didn't like it so i am refilming it today the only thing that i haven't tried at all is the eyeshadow palette so i'm going to be doing an eye look today with that these are the two blushes that they call them this one is a powder blush in the color your wish is my command and it's very cute it has the gold packaging on the outside and then on the inside it does have the lamp and it is a since like i said i already used this one this one is a very warm golden orange bronzer it doesn't have that red tone to it but it is golden brown that's the color that i described because that's how it looked on my skin tone and then this one is always one jump ahead and this one's the exact same way on the outside but it's a pretty pretty highlight this one gives you the gold finish and with my skin tone, it's a tiny bit too dark for me. It does give me a little bit of the shadow effect, so I have to apply a very light hand because I kind of just went in like regularly, like I always do, just with the brush. I put it on, but it was just a tiny, tiny bit too dark for me, especially on the bridge of my nose. Um, so yeah, that's just something that I wanted to tell you in case you have a skin tone lighter than mine or similar to mine. And then this one is the palette, and this one has a lot of purple tones to it. This one is called princess jasmine and it is also gold it is very very pretty it has a pretty design i really like the the theme of this collab and that's how the eyeshadows look this is a small little mac palette with nine shades in here and it's the exact same size and everything the pan sizes and everything as the last one that they just did with the spring collection with the what is it called blossom Japanese blossom something like that but the blossom one and then lastly I got the lipstick in the color princess incognito and this one is the second one from the lighter shade so it's a very light nude one and then this one and then two other ones so this one is the one that I chose but it is just a little bit too pink for me I thought it was gonna be a little bit more brownish but it does look a little bit too pink. So anyways, like I said, I already have the rest of my makeup on and I'm gonna go in with the bronzer. I don't have any blush or anything. And I am gonna be using one from MAC today too, just to keep it all like same brand. So let me go ahead and get that. Okay, so then the, so this one's the blush that I'm saying I'm gonna use today. It did used to have an overspray. You can still kind of see it around the pan, but that's the blush that I'm gonna use. That way I can stick to using MAC products. I'm gonna start with, first I gotta get my brushes because I forgot. Okay, so for the bronzer, I'm gonna use a big fluffy brush. This one, I got it from Walgreens. It's by Sleek Makeup. And I'm gonna go ahead and bronze my face like you can see right there. There's nothing, let me close this. There is nothing on my face. And that way you'll be able to see the true color of it or the color of it by itself. It's a nice color for me. If I go in twice, you can build it up easily. So if you have a darker skin tone than mine, look at how nice that looks. It's a very pretty shade for me. And I'm just applying a little bit. Like I said, like I'm just lightly going into the powder. I'm not really, I'm not really like turning it, swirling it in there that much because I don't want to get too, too much product. Yesterday I did and it was a little bit too heavy. So just going like this. In circular motions to blend out the product in there blending out really good it's very pretty this was actually a makeup collection that I was a little bit I, I, I want to say like super excited about because I'm not that into Aladdin you know but I do love Mac products and I do like their highlights and their bronzers and blush so I do have quite a bit of different collections that they come out with and I'm always like using them and I'm usually happy with them it's just some of, except for like their holiday stuff 
but um, I do like the design and I like the collab just overall everything was very nice and like I said I do like their products so that's why whenever I heard that one was a bronzer like these weren't blushes you know one was a bronzer and one was a highlight I was interested in it and the packaging is also pretty I mean the boxes are too but for sure I'm gonna throw these away I know some people love Mac and collect Mac and keep all of the boxes I'm not one of those people, but I still think it's very pretty, just in case that is what you like. Which, I didn't really show you too much of it, but if you care, that is how the green one looks. They're pretty much the same. It has the lamp on there, and then this one is the, the pink one. Before I throw these away, that way you can see them. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply the highlights, because that way we can get the face face stuff out of the way. Oh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and apply the blush. I'm going to use this one before I do my eyes. This is a very pretty blush, but it is very, very light. All right, and now for the highlight, which like I said, this one is called Always One Jump Ahead, and I'm just gonna lightly grab it. Yesterday, I used it with the Anastasia um, highlighting brush, and it was it just picked up too much product. So since this one's a little bit more loose, I think it's gonna be better for me because like I said, I don't wanna grab too, too much because it does give me the shadowy effect. I'm just going to apply little by little. There you go. I think that's a little bit better. Yesterday was, was like a bit too much. So there. There you can see it. I mean, it is super glowy. If you want to, if, if it looks good on your skin tone, and if you want to build this up, you really can. Like, it does get pretty intense. But I do not... All right, and then with whatever is left, I'm going to apply that on my nose and just a little bit up here. Because like I said yesterday, that's the area where it was way too shadowy. Okay, right now it's looking good because I'm only applying, like, dusting it on. And yesterday on my lip too, like, I could really see a shadow. So, applying less today. So, I'm done with that. I'm not going to apply too much, like I said. But it does look very pretty. It's very glowy. I'm going to go ahead and swatch these. And I'll give you a closer swatch, but just from far away. That is the highlight. It's a pretty golden highlight. And then this one is the bronzer. I didn't clean my brushes after I used the blues the last time. But okay, I'm going to go ahead and pick one of these colors for my transition. And I'm going to use this color on the corner, which is a light pink nude shade. It's not the lightest one in the palette. You do get one even lighter than that, but it's more of like a true light pink. And this does not have a mirror, so I'm gonna take my mirror. And I need my beauty blender. So my eyelids are not set, just so you know. I do have concealer. It is the Tarte Shape Tape. And for the first color, I'm going to use my Morphe M514 Small Little Blending Brush. And I'm gonna apply this right here in the crease area. Okay, this is a very pretty color. I mean, it's a brown. <laughs> you know how pretty it's going to be compared to other browns, you know, but it is a nice tone. It's not too light to where it won't show up, but it's not too dark either. And this is also one of my favorite brushes just because it's so tiny, but it's a it's a it's a good shape. Like it's a good blending brush. It's like a regular blending brush but in a mini size, which if you have my eye shape or anything smaller, or even if you have bigger eye, eyelids or bigger eyes, this will probably be a very useful little brush, but for me, it's just perfect for right here because it doesn't, or I could, but, you know, it helps me not get too high up if I don't want to, if I just want to concentrate this right in here in the crease. And by the way, I get my brushes, or at least this one, uh, I get it at, at Ulta. Okay, so that one did give me a little bit of fallout right there, just so you know. I'm going to take a little bit more because I need some in the inner corner. Again, I don't want to go up too high. I'm going to keep it right here in the inner, in the lower inner. Does that mean anything to you? Lower inner? Okay, so without taking any more product, I'm going to go over this edge. Just to blend that out towards my brow bone a little bit better. Okay. Am I focused? Yeah, I am. Okay. Sorry if I wasn't focused. I think I had the mirror way too high. I was probably focusing on the mirror. 
But there you can see right there, it's a really nice blend. It's just like the other MAC small little palettes. It seems at least this shade, because like I said, it's the first time I use this palette, at least this shade, it's blending out nicely and easily and it's it just seems like that blendable formula that MAC usually has. So now I'm going to take a smaller, it's not smaller, but it's a little bit more dense. It's like a regular eyeshadow brush and I'm going to use this dark plum shade in the corner, which is also a matte. You actually get more shimmers in this palette than you do mattes. And I'm just going to take this one and focus this one right below that light brown. Yeah, that's a very pretty plum color. And it goes good with that brown shade. That brown shade is not too warm or too cool. This plum one though is a very, very cool tone. It looks very pretty to pair it up together. And I'm going to take the small little blending brush I was using earlier and just go over this edge. Like I said, I want to keep this one below the other brown that I have. And like I said, I didn't set my concealer underneath, so it's going to be a tiny bit harder to blend out, but they're not being too difficult either way. I'm gonna take a little bit more on the blending brush and blend out that line. Look how pretty that looks. This is a very pretty combination. I, I know I only have two shades on my eyes, but it is a very pretty combination. I mainly want to make sure that the edge is really blended out. I'm not too worried about what's on my eyelid. It is fading a tiny bit. Right here you can see it on the crease. But I'm going to apply a shimmer shade there, so I'm not going to focus too much on building that part up. And I also don't want to get too, too close to the inner corner because I always do that to where I make it look a little too dark and then it looks muddy in there so I'm not really focusing the dark shade up in the inner corner. There you go. Like I said, over here it's faded. I'm not going to worry too much about that because I am going to apply a shimmer shade. So I'm going to move on to my shimmer shade and I think I'm going to use this one right here. It has like a purple tone to it but at the same time it has blue shimmer in it which I think it looks really pretty. You can see right there. Notice that it has a little bit of blue in there. MAC Fix Plus. So I'm going to take my MAC Fix Plus and just spray my brush and apply this one all over the eyelid. Oh yeah, for sure this is so pretty. It looks, it looks blue. It looks like that purple blue, like it looks in the pan. So I didn't spray it again since my brush is already wet, but I'm just going to go over all the lid area. That looks really pretty. Like, this is such a simple look. There's only a couple of steps to recreate it. I'm going to spray my brush again because I did get more shadow because I'm going to focus this part on the outer corner. But it looks a little bit more complicated than what it really is. Okay, and then the next color that I'm going to use is a light brown again, and I'm going to use this one on my lower lash line. I'm trying not to get the mirror right in front of the camera. By the way, I have a lot of fallout. I got fallout from this light brown earlier and I also got fallout from the dark plum shade. I need to remove my, my fallout because I feel like it's gonna get stuck there. I didn't leave any powder on today. I'm going to take my blending brush and blend these two colors together, like this outer part. I also think I'm going to keep it pretty simple. I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and apply a mascara primer so that way it can give me some more volume. And then I'm going to apply regular mascara if I decide to put falsies. I'll probably do that in a bit, but I'm going to see the way that this looks first. Because I really want to try this, this eyelash primer, um, you know, a few times. I want to see if it's going to work. Is it going to make a big difference? Does it really work? You know what I mean? So I'm going to go ahead and apply this my lashes one thing that I did notice the last time that I used this is that it kept my eyelashes curled now that's a big difference because if you don't have a lot of lashes but they're at least curled you can still see them so that helps so with that I'm happy with I just want to make sure that it's going to give me some volume like I, I need to I'm testing it out basically but that's pretty much all I can say about that the last time that I used this primer I used it with the Too Faced mascara but today I'm gonna try it with this one because this one's a lot thinner like the formula of it. The other one is a lot chunkier so I couldn't really tell if it was a mascara or if it was a primer making a difference in the volume and volume wise. For sure the curling part is the, mas the mascara primer. 
But now I'm gonna try it with this mascara right here. Like I said, this one is the Roller Lash, Roller Lash by Benefit. And before I apply the mascara on the bottom, I'm gonna use a brightening pencil. This one is by Benefit. It's called the Eye Bright Pencil, the Roller Eye, Eye Bright Pencil. And I'm gonna apply some of my waterline. By the way, this one, once you go up, you cannot bring it back down. So if you do get this one, don't overdo it because you can't put it back. It does really brighten the under eyes or like the waterline area and it has a tiny bit of a light pink tone to it so it makes it look even brighter. It's not just white or just nude. Okay, so there we go with that and then I'm gonna apply my mascara on my lower lashes. So there we go. Now I'm done, completely done. That's all I'm gonna do for the eyes. Well, except for the inner corner actually. Let me apply the light highlight shade in here. I'm gonna use this one right here in the middle. It's just like a gold champagne shade and I'm also going to spray it and apply this on the inner corner. That looks pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit more. My brush is still a little bit. My brush is still wet and I'm gonna apply this right here on the brow bone just to give me some glow. And I'm gonna take the blending brush, where is it? Right here, and just blend that into the other eyeshadow that I have. So lastly, I'm going to apply the lipstick, and like I said, it's more of a pink shade. I thought from the pictures it was going to be more brown. If it would have been more mauves in the lipstick, um, the lipstick options, that would have been better, like I said. Maybe it's just my skin tone. It makes it look a little bit more pink, but yeah. Not my favorite color, but it is very pretty. It does feel comfortable. It is a matte finish. It's not a satin matte or a, what is the other one, retro matte? I don't remember what the other matte is called. It's like extremely, extremely matte. This one's like just a regular matte lipstick. Like I said, MAC has different finishes to them. This one's just, just a regular matte. I think I already said that like a hundred times. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over the other ones, which I kinda already told you my thoughts, because like I said, I did use these yesterday and I kinda got a feel for them. So as far as the bronzer, I really like it. I feel like it looks so much better on me when I use the light hand. Yesterday I applied a little bit too much because it was like, Kind of like a first impression it would have been yesterday because it's the first time that I use it. But today I was a little bit more careful. It was easy to blend out too. Yesterday it was too, but I applied a lot. So just using a light hand really works with my skin tone. And I think if you're anything lighter than me, you're really going to want to use the light hand. And it's easily buildable. The highlight, I do feel like it's a tiny bit, like just a little bit too dark for me. If I go in with the light hand on my cheeks, it looks fine. On my cheeks yesterday, I did apply way too much, so it did have a little bit more of the shadow effect. Today, it doesn't. I feel like it blended out a lot better. And just applying it with a loose, I already put it up, but the loose highlighting brush, it just helps spread it out more to where it's not too much product on one spot. So now it looks really good. I like it. I also like it just the way it's really blending everywhere. And going into the eyeshadows, I do feel like it's the exact same quality as the other MAC products. I didn't have an issue with the shimmers. I did get fallout from all of the shades, so I'm not gonna say that I didn't, but I don't feel like I had any issues with the shimmers. I did spray it just because I already know that I'm gonna get fallout, because I can tell just by looking inside of the pan whenever I put my brush in there. It does have that kick up, and then the uh, mattes they blended in really good considering that this one is a very very dark color it blended out really nicely with the light brown I feel like it looks nice and smoked out so I think all of that looks great I didn't have an issue with any of that and then the highlighting shade that I have on the inner corner and on the brow bone also works for my skin tone to highlight those areas so I'm very happy with the look I think the combination is very pretty and I guess the only thing that would be up to you is if you like the color combination. So I thought there was going to be, whenever I first thought of Aladdin, I thought maybe they were going to have like a teal shade just because that's the color that Jasmine wears, but you know, there isn't. Uh, but this one does have a little bit of blue in there, which I think looks really pretty on the eyelid. So let me know what you think about the look. Let me know if you're interested in these products. I know that the eyeshadow palette is... It's just simple, you know, there's nothing too crazy about it, there's no pop of color, there's nothing like unique about it, but I think if you like Aladdin and you like the color combination, you know, the quality seems like it's pretty good, so like it's consistent with other eyeshadow palettes that they have, and the ones that I was more interested in were these two, which I think are really nice, I'm going to be using these for sure, just like the other MAC products that I've gotten recently, which is why I continue to still buy some, because I do like the quality of them, so besides, like I said earlier, the holiday collection. 
complexion stuff. But that stuff, most of the time, whenever it comes to eyeshadows, are not so great. But I am happy with these nine pan eyeshadow palettes. But anyways, 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 thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope it helped you in some way in deciding whether you want to get these products or not. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.